tired of hearing from the ghetto, especially in the black community, that the whites did everything to keep you down. You're never gonna make anything yourself. Just give up, go out and sell drugs and make money. Gang bang, do anything you want. You're never gonna make anything out of your life. The preachers in a lot of black churches preach this to the black audiences. The whites have kept them down and discriminate against them. Well, the rich blacks keep them down too. The rich Pakistanis, Indians, there's almost, only so much money to go around and so many jobs to go around. But you gotta ignore all of this shit. My kids were half Asian and half white. Everybody thought they were Hispanic. I told them to ignore everybody. Yeah, there's races out there, there's people with biases out there. Be the best person you can be for yourself. Get ahead. Learn. Try hard. Don't let the community, your peer groups, or your parents or your church put you down. I went to Job Corps to probably get my GED. And now I got five years of college. I wasn't dumb. My parents never told me to fight on. I told my kids to keep fighting because of where we live in Jessup. And most of the people around here are welfare in Section 8. But I didn't want them to associate with the people that wanted them in gangs or trying drugs and all this other stuff. I wanted to keep my kids on the straight and narrow. I guess that's why they hate me because they interfere with the light, especially their teenage life. Because I didn't want them to have a record or anything. I wanted him to have college degrees. I was a real asshole about it. But you gotta be an asshole to yourself now. All you poor blacks in inner city, there is a way to get out. The government's got all kinds of programs to help you learn how to read and write, to get that GED, to get college credits free of charge. There's all kinds of programs for you. If you go to your school, the te some of the teachers, not a lot of them, but a few teachers, will stay after to help you catch up, even if it's another subject. Like your history teacher might help you with English or math. They're not an expert, they're not a teacher of it, but they're better than you and they can help you. And they will. Uh, some teachers out there still care, even though they're working in the inner city. You've got to keep fighting. You can get out of the ghetto. You can make something out of your life no matter what color you are. And that includes the white people in the inner city that's put down by the schools and their communities and their peers that they'll never get out of the ghetto or off of welfare. You can. You can make a life for you. I used to walk into jobs and I knew nothing about them. And I'd tell them, you give me one week and I'll sign a paper right now that you don't have to pay me for that a whole week if you don't want to hire me after that. And by the time the week was up, they'd already fired two people because I was working a job of three. I care about my employer. I work hard, I'm dedicated. I find stuff to do when I'm working for somebody else when I was younger and when I first got married until I got into my own business in 77. If you're this proactive, you can make it. You can make a better life for you and your children. You can make something out of yourself. You can feel pride in yourself, self-esteem. Don't let the churches, the community, and your peers in the schools keep telling you, you're black, you ain't gonna make it. I know a lot of millionaire blacks around here that own dozens of properties. And they did it by being a barbecue wagon, driving around selling barbecue sandwiches and stuff, or cutting hair and opening their own hair cuttery uh, in a trailer across the street. They became millionaires. It took them 30 or 40 years, 
but they made something out of themselves because they kept fighting and trying and working hard and taking advantage of all these government programs to help you get better. I'm tired of the black power group saying black lives matter. Why don't you get out there and tell people to turn all these gangbangers into the police so they stop killing each other if black lives matter to you? Why don't you stop this crime in the black community of black on black murders? You know how many tens of thousands of blacks are murdered by blacks every year in this country? There's only a maybe a hundred black people killed by police. That, that's important, but why don't you do something that really matters to black lives in the inner city ghetto by getting people to stand up, helping to protect these people from the gangbangers and start putting these bad people in jail that are killing other blacks. It's just another special interest group raising money for their own pocket, probably. And getting a lot of publicity saying black lives matter. To me, they're not helping the blacks. Like they should be helped in our ghetto area. Thank you.